All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to add in a plane. And I'm going to scale my plane up nice and big in the edit mode. And once I got it to where I want it to be, I'm gonna subdivide it a bunch of times. Once you got that done, we can move on to the next step. Go down to the particle properties tab and add in a new particle system. Uh, switch it over from emitter to hair. Now go down to the render settings and switch from path to object and select our tree. Now we got a bunch of baby little trees so I'm going to tweak the scale and scale randomness right here until they start looking nice. Now you'll notice that we got this horrible black looking background to all our trees, but that can be switched by going to the render properties tab, going down to the light paths, look around till you find the transparent slider tab, Oop, it's up here, and just slide it all the way up to the top. Now the light passes through, yeehaw, it's looking pretty good. Alright, and if you want to add some clumps of trees, go down to the object data properties tab and then tab into edit mode and select some random parts on your plane. Looks like there's some new cowboys around this part. Add in a new vertex group and you're going to press assign and then you're gonna go back to your particle properties tab and you're gonna go down to the vertex group and you're going to open that up and select the density and select our group and now we got trees and groups ain't that something special all right now you can tweak any sentence you want from this point on uh that's about it anyways i'll see you around in the next one